Alrighty, g'day, welcome to the Goat King Riders Club. Episode 16. 16, yeah, we had a little sweet bit 16. Of a corona break. Yeah. We had like two yeah. weeks off, you guys got sick. Fuck. Yeah, and I think Who would have thought that weeks? I'm the healthy one in this podcast? <laughs> yeah, well, you know, any drinks and cigarette will kill any, any, yeah. any anything. So. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, I'm Nathan Hull. I'm Sean Conway. Just in case you didn't know by now. No, yep. Yep, I didn't know. Oh, yep, yep. (laughs) (laughs) No, episode 16, man. We got some cool stuff in the works. We do. We've just got accepted for Fringe. Yeah. Yeah, so I don't know. This may be out before Fringe. Brian does his job. Yeah. (laughs) Get to work, Brian. Brian's, I don't know if we should let Brian's dad know, but he's back on the booze. Oh, We corrupted him. (laughs) Seen him have one sip of alcohol in. (laughs) Yeah, what? turn into Doctor. What is Mister Jekyll? Yeah, Mr. <laughs> Jekyll is <the> <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, but no, let's. Uh, we've also got two killer nine-nine word stories that we wrote like a month ago. Yeah, mine is average. Average. Yeah. Your, what's yours? Yours is uh, junkie on the Titanic. Junkie on the Titanic, and mine yeah. was Nazi in a police car. Yeah, I wrote mine like really tired, and I think it portrays that in the writing. It's okay. It's just nonchalant yeah and uh and your proper story full length story and if i'm saying it's great it probably means everyone's gonna hate it (laughs) Uh, i'm actually i'm gonna i'm pretty keen to show you my artwork because i reckon i've kind of you can't really tell by looking at it but kind of imagine like 80s slash a horror like your freddy krueger remember the old vhs covers i like that you said you can't tell by looking but imagine so everyone can just shut their eyes when you show your artwork (laughs) i can't imagine it anyway no but like imagine if like a proper artist did it with like watercolors and remember like the old freddy krueger don't sell yourself short you can't really tell by this image okay this this is kind of like the blueprint for like a great 80s slasher poster (laughs) all right we might have to get it done properly from someone well, you're going to have to guess the story, but this is well, my Well, it's artwork. definitely a blueprint. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. I've only just noticed that the old, this dude in behind, these are bushes. Yep. Uh, kind of looks like the puppet that Jeff Dunham has. The old man. <laughs> or the old guy from uh, Home Improvement. Oh, Mr. Wilson. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> so my guess in this is that Mr. Wilson's lost his mind somewhere along the lines. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm guessing hooks is his business and judging by the cut off hooked hand in the corner, I'm guessing that's not filler. I'm guessing that's important to the story. Yeah, it has some, some uh, base to be there. I feel like a sommelier when I... Uh, a who what? A sommelier, a wine expert. You hear, they'll, they'll drink wine and they'll be like... Well, I reckon it's from here, (laughs) this part of the world. It's this kind of wine. It's very oaky. Yeah, because I look at yours and I'm like, well, I'm guessing that that's not filler. I'm guessing it's about this. Like, I'm putting out a lot of estimates. What what, what do you think? What do you think? What do you think it's called? It's got a nice deep smell. (laughs) Yeah, that's some high school getting high (laughs) behind the toilet sort of smell. Is it called Cabin 13? It is. Okay. Oh, wow. It's written there. It's written twice on here. All right. Uh, Signed by Al Banksy, aka Sean Conway. Yeah. I'm, I'm assuming it's about someone. Uh, it's it's a horror story about someone who escaped from a sane asylum uh, and murders people with a hook. <laughs> you kind of summed it up. <laughs> <laughs> that is why I'm a familiar. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, anyway, what's your You're story about? <laughs> <laughs> Nah, so this- you got the short version. Hang around for the long version. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm, now I'm insecure about reading it to you because you kind of. <laughs> but then again, it's like an '80s horror movie, yeah. which is you pretty much just nailed about. I looked 30 at the cover horror- of Jaws and knew it was about a shark who ate people. Yeah. Still a good movie. Yeah, so. <laughs> true. <laughs> so as you guess, it's called Cabin Thirteen. Are you ready? Yep. The first day of summer. And the group of sexy, dumb college students are heading to the campsite that their families frequently spent their holidays. The only difference was they'd had planned to do drugs, booze and sexual debauchery while staying in the haunted number 13 cabin. Urban legend had it that the cabin was haunted by a spooky ghost of an insane mental patient who escaped the mental hospital to go fishing and kill college students with rusty hooks. The group of college students were your classic bunch of good-looking college friends. Laura, who was an A-grade student. Becky, the alternative cool chick who smoked weed and had rich parents. 
Diana, who was always insecure about her looks, but obviously way hotter than the other two. <laughs> then you had Ben and Jonas from the football team. And what group wouldn't be complete without Jeb, the guy who looks 40 years old with scars on his face that look like he had both shock therapy and a lobotomy. Jeb was also the goofy one of the group. <laughs> The students arrived at the cabin just before sunset. Hey, Jeb, what's with all the rusty hooks? Laura asked. I'm going to kill you all and harvest your souls for my journey to the afterlife, Jeb responded. Oh, my God, Jeb, you are too funny, Laura responded as she carried her bag inside. The students sat in a circle on the floor of the haunted cabin 13 and, called, and told ghost stories. Jonas was telling a story about an escaped, insane mental patient who kills college students in this very cabin. And do you know what he? And do you know what that patient's name was? Jonas asked in a dramatic fashion. But before he could finish, the power went out, and for a few short moments before switching back on, revealing Jonas was dead. Oh my God! Someone used Jeb's rusty hooks to kill Jonas. <laughs> we need to call the police. Laura screamed. I don't think I'm pretty enough to call the police, said the incredibly hot Diana. Oh my God, fine, I'll do it, Becky said as she began dialing 911, but before it could ring out, the lights went out, and when they turned back on, Becky was dead with a big rusty hook impaled in her head. Everyone screamed. Ben took off his shirt and offered to run to the main road to get help. <laughs> People will have to stop. No one can resist these, can resist my six pack. Ben said before making his chest muscles dance. You're so brave and handsome. If only I wasn't so ugly, I'd kiss you, said the incredibly hot Diana. You're just as beautiful on the outside as you are on the inside, Ben responded as he stroked her face. Jeb rolled his eyes and turned off the lights. When the lights came back on, a rusty hook was wedged through the heads of both Diana and Ben. Laura let out a blood curl in a scream. We need to stick together, Jeb, otherwise the killer will get us too. <laughs> <laughs> Laura screamed. Jeb stared at her with menacing eyes. Laura, I am the killer, Jeb said menacingly. This isn't time for one of your hilarious jokes, Jeb, Laura responded. Jeb had a whole monologue prepared of why he killed all the students in the haunted number 13 cabin, but thought it would fall on deaf ears, so he grabbed the biggest, rustiest hook and split Laura in half. Jeb dragged the five dead students using his insane mental hospital strength uh, to drag them to the barbecue hut to chop them up. Jeb cut all the victims into tiny pieces and spent the rest of the summer catching big dumb fish with his big dumb bait. <laughs> Definitely worth the full length version. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I've been, it's Halloween time, so I've been Coming getting close, into it. Yeah. Well, actually, this probably would be a Halloween episode. Yeah, I've dressed up as a... Uh, Conway. Uh, as an Atlanta Brave. Yeah, the Atlanta Brave, a yeah. middle tier baseball team. <laughs> <laughs> Top tier? Yeah, they're, they're yeah. around the mark. Yeah. <laughs> Atlanta's also notorious for like choking. Kenny Wisconsin over there's, you know. Reckon, Kenny? <laughs> you know, I just changed his name. Yeah, fair <laughs> enough. <laughs> Brian's dad, you didn't do a good enough job. He will forever be known as Kenny. Kenny Wisconsin. <laughs> Kenny Wisconsin. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, could you see. Do you remember the old VHS covers? Yeah, it does. It looks like a, a C grade movie horror cover. It was a C grade movie comedy horror. Yeah. B grade. I'm going to give you a B grade for that. I it's think so. The comedy Do was A grade. The horror was D grade. Depending on how on bloody and cheap the hook deaths were. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. That We should film this. It kind of is my scary movie version of I Know What You Did Last Summer. It was summer. very much scary movie yeah. mixed with, yeah, I Know What You Did. It was like, yeah, yeah the comedy scream sort of That's thing. That's back-to-back episodes where I've blatantly copied someone else's work yeah art's just you know yeah. well done thievery like uh, Mr Curry's Darius was based on like a proper famous story which if things work in order which you don't know around here may come out before this episode yeah maybe so, <laughs> the people watching this <laughs> will know what we're talking about yeah fucking COVID making us all sick yeah I don't know if I got COVID I think I had fucking um, uh, regular old coward flu cow disease mad cow disease <laughs> yeah <laughs> Oh, well, you work in the kitchen. It'd yeah, be possible. Is there some kind of parasitic brain yeah. you know, injury? <laughs> well, have you seen the uh, 
if you put coke onto like pork, you see all the worms come out. You ever yeah. seen those? I don't know how true that is. Uh, if you're in like a pretty far off the map country, yeah. and, you know, it would. There's a possibility it will happen. I don't think it's going to happen at the pork from you know from normal shops. Maybe from Coles. They're pretty dodgy. Coles, yeah. So uh, Coles, if you want to sponsor us, I, I bet you if you put uh, <laughs> Coke on their blueberries, worms will come. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you put Coke on the strawberries, all the needles wasn't come that, out. Wasn't that one of the stories that uh, Coles or Woolies was buying blueberries from Chinese farmers that use that like uh, shit soil? Oh, it wouldn't surprise me. Hey, you know, you know the Chinese they get the yeah. The sewerage system, yeah, fats like hu- and oil. Human manure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Give me cow shit. I don't want any of... Yeah, yeah. I'll grow my food in cow shit. Human shit's a bit, you know? I don't know. Yeah, we're way off tropic. We're, we're watching... We're watching... Yeah, 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 maggots the, coming out of pork. There you go. I don't know. I think this got debunked. But then again, it might have just been signed. I'm watching it on the TV right now, Sean. <laughs> it, just, it just appears in the yeah. <laughs> it's also rice. Yeah. It's pocket rice. <laughs> E-bombs world. Uh, world, yeah. That's where I get most of my factual information from. <laughs> but I'm pretty pumped to hear your story because you're a big fan of this story. I, I like this story except for the fact that it's got three voices in it. I haven't read it in a long time. So I don't know how the voice is going to go. All right. Um, and I'm really tired, which means I can't read. Also... You're wearing the the Go King shirt that you can get at our new website. Only in white. Only in white. But you got to buy the white ones so we can get money to print the black We're ones. We're pretty yes, much buy. just hinting at an all male wet t shirt comp with the white shirts, guys. Yes. So, Summer's yeah. coming. Summer's coming. Get those fatty bellies and. Uh, don't say. <laughs> <laughs> oh, B Dog. Kenny, Wisconsin in the corner. Uh, yeah, so. Why? <laughs> Sean. Wait, is that a pig? That's a superior dog. The, I'm guessing they're testicles. They are testicles, yes. Okay. <laughs> with a cut off with. It's not a knife, it's a scape, scalpel. Scalpel. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I've got a rough idea. <laughs> so it's a super dog, and his kryptonite is having his. Balls cut off. It, it kind of along those lines. <laughs> <Yeah. right? laughs> We're well, getting too predictable with our stories that we can guess each other's story. It, no, it's along those lines. Originally, it was going to be way more that kind of. Yeah. There was, but I just I wrote myself into a corner. And was like that will <laughs> fucking do. That's the ending. Oh, so uh, there is an alternate ending in my head. Uh, wait, is the dog based on Roman? No, actually, because I have a Labrador. Yeah. So ages ago, I was actually writing a movie about Labrador. So that, super dog. <laughs> so I put him in this. So you had a Labradoodle and yeah. now it's just a Labra. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, but you know, uh, I'm pretty happy with the scalp on the testicles. I've got to say. Is that the name of the... <laughs> no, no, it's Scalps called. on the testicles. <laughs> it's the a good name for is. this. Hang on. It's probably just called Labradoodle, to be honest with you. Labradoodle? Yeah. Uh, so I'm getting messages from people. This is probably working on my phone. I need words on paper like you have. Yeah. Oh, Drum on. Ketamine, vet. Labradoodle's a cool name. Labradoodle. I'm going to yeah. finish Labradoodle one day, hey? Yeah. I spent like a way, way, way too much time once upon a time as well writing what I considered an Adam Sandler movie just to really annoy my little brother because he fucking hates Adam Sandler movies. <laughs> hey. And I sent him copies of the script every day. <laughs> like new Whoa. updated version. I don't know, man. Uh, Hubie Halloween was actually pretty good. I watched good. that, bro. That was it's, so terrible. It's fucking good. I liked it. It's charming as fuck. It is charming. Yeah, I'll give it to it. It was, yeah. was kind of like three of his movies combined. This is yeah. now uh, the movie podcast. Yeah. <laughs> All right, enough about... Shout out to Adam Sandler. Shout out to Adam Sandler. Hey, Sandler. I love Adam Sandler movies. Like, uh, Me too. Way too much. You know so. what you're getting. Hmm. You know. I'm not here to watch fucking... I don't want to think. I don't want to watch my Adam Sandler in my left my left foot. Yeah. I want to watch Daniel Day Lewis in my left foot. If I want to watch an Adam Sandler movie, I want a, a man boy child. Yeah. 
I don't want to think and I don't want anyone to think for me. I want there to be no thinking when I view a movie. And I just <laughs> want to sit perfect. back and I can tune out for 30 minutes, come back and, and, not, exactly the and same not miss thing. the beat. I, honestly, I laid on the couch and probably slept through an hour of uh, Hubie's Halloween and come back. I was like, I know what's going on. It's, I'm up to date. So did you guys like that movie when he had cancer? Uh, funny people. Yeah. Haven't seen no, it. No, not particularly. It's too dark. Uh yeah, it was all right. It, that movie was good until Eric Banner rocked up at the end. Eric Banner is good at ruining things. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think I think he, every movie Adam produces is great. Um, but I think have it's you seen Judd Apatow is funny people? Yeah, but have you seen the mystery? The uh, what was it? The one where he was on the cruise with? Um, no, I have to do some. Jennifer stuff. Aniston, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, no, you can look behind their heads. Yeah. Go on the YouTube if you're this, listening on audio. This episode's called the Sandman. Yeah, <laughs> Sandman. That's a big sand dog. Yeah. <laughs> Man, I should try to Adam can Sandler voice. Otherwise, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> could this be an Adam Sandler movie? Adam Sandler uh, could have been in my movie, I reckon. Adam Sandler could be in the actual movie that I was writing for Adam Actually, Sandler, and my, I may send it to him one day. Hey, after my Click, I think he could kinda, be in anything. I think could have been inspired by Hubie Halloween. It, it was a little bit. <laughs> it was a little bit. Hey. <laughs> but there you go. That's a shout out to my dad. He loves that movie this year. Hubie Halloween. That's his top favorite for the year. Shout hey. out to Big Kenny Wisconsin. <laughs> <laughs> it was, yeah. All righty. Oh, I liked it too. It was one. Of, it's uh, probably the best movie of 2020. I'm now insecure rating this because Adam Sandler will definitely watch this episode and be like, nah, I wish you get Rob Snyder. <laughs> <laughs> or the, you, can, uh, you can do it. That guy who's like third on the list, uh, he's even worse. Uh, David Spade. Kevin. Kevin. No, nah, Kevin James is good. Is he? Yeah. I don't know. He's got his own I'm YouTube sold. channel, man. He's All right. great. Okay. Man, we're plugging so many other people <laughs> other than ourselves. If you want a t-shirt, go to Go King Riders Club. If you want an Adam Sandler t-shirt, we'll probably be able to hook him up for you. <laughs> we can do some Adam, T- Adam Sandler t-shirts. Yeah, sure. but you got to buy these shirts first so we can get some money to make we the next. We are now Wish. <laughs> yeah. We're also accepting donations on the website at the moment too. So if you don't like any of the merch, you can just feel free to us drop us and tell us to get a job. Yeah, well, if you if you send us money, we'll definitely send mention us you on the money show. Money if you like this story. So hell, don't fuck up. <sighs> okay, I'm going to use the three voices that I've used and in all my other story? stories. What was the name? Uh, it's called episode 16. <laughs> <laughs> treat Classic. treat this as this if it was a pitch to Adam Sandler himself. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Sandler. So far, the image kind of looks like the South Park where they did uh, that Cartman robot where he just predicted <laughs> Adam Sandler movies. And All right. Rob Let's- Schneider is a stapler. <laughs> we'll call this. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to call this uh, story Adam Sandler's dog. That's the actual title now, so you got to run with it. <laughs> Adam Sandler's dog. All right. All right. Maine's number one superhero, Labradood, was having a bad day. The consensus from a majority of the townsfolk had been it was time for him to be neutered. Don't get us wrong, Labradood. We love what you do for this community, but this disturbing trend of dog humans and human dogs being born every other month has to stop. You can't go around sleeping with every available woman and bitch you come across. Frankly, it makes you look like a bad boy, the mayor said sternly. Labradood howled and tried to flee the office. They couldn't take his balls. He promised he'd be a good boy, but it was too late. The local ranger and vet tackled him down, injecting a large dose of ketamine to the now helpless super pup. A few hours later, Labradood appeared from the surgical room, bucket-headed and broken. Got any more of the ketamine, Doc? I need some time away. An 18-hour holiday, stuck in the K-hole again. Know what I mean? Labradood asked feebly. The vet looked over at Labradood and said, Listen, I'm not going to keep injecting you for free, my man. you got to pay up from now on. Labrador slid a wad of cash across the counter. Hit me up, Doc. Nothing matters anymore. I'm never fighting crime again. Not without my balls, he said depressed. And so it was. Labrador <laughs> was true to his word. He spent the rest of his days ignoring reality, spending all of his superhero retirement pension on ketamine and pizza. The townsfolk begged for him to help them out. The crime, with him, uh, the crime without him was just unbearable. But he told them to go lick their own balls, a luxury he now had to live without. If it was an Adam Sandler movie, <laughs> Adam Sandler's dog. It's kind of like the Water Boy meets Uncut Gems. <laughs> <laughs> you know, oh, yeah. it starts off as this, oh, I'm a, I'm a dog that has sex. It's kind of like the boys in a way. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. I was kind of like, well, if he's a man, dog, dog, human, does he have women, pups, pup, women? Who knows? So he fucks everything. He got no. Yeah. yeah, filthy dog. His face also kind of looks like a clown. Yeah, he's on a lot of ketamine. 
Let's read the story. <laughs> so if, if you were pitching this to Adam Sandler, you'd have to tell him which one of his friends would play the dog. Uh, Stay for Shamey. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think... <laughs> no, this could be like a Jack and Jill sort of situation where Adam Sandler is the dog and the ketamine dealer. <laughs> like, it would be like his leg. And he would make a good ketamine dealer in a movie. Like I watched that uh, that serious movie done about the di- selling diamonds and shit. Uncut gems. Yeah, that, that was pretty good. And that makes you think he could play a good ketamine dealer. That, you also got a... Yeah. Punch Drunk Love, Funny People. He's done a couple just, other series. Ones. Spanglish. I didn't big know. Big Adam Sandler love into Click. I did. Click it, was very it, serious. Click was hot. That, yeah, I didn't like Click. Click was, was amazing. One. Yeah, it was kind of like. Uh, Watch Adam Sandler movies to laugh, all right, mate? It was very. That is a very much like a Twilight Zone episode. Where it was like the TV. And it also uh, was a sad version of Pleasantville. Yeah. Pleasantville was that's a great exactly that's an underrated movie so, why just to ask me quickly on the topic of spooking everything Adam Sandler's ever done have you seen it's like his first movie ever called Overboard no I haven't seen, I've watched Go it about what, 20 it's minutes it's so fucking bad yeah I know <laughs> <laughs> it's like he breaks a fourth wall every two minutes and talks to him like now yeah, what about this going on <laughs> I think he made that before he even got on SNL yeah no it's yeah. like old man yeah. hey, my, my favourite movie he's ever produced Grandma's Boy yeah Grandma's I still go Boy. back and watch that well, at least once a year. Yeah, no, that's good. Uh, I love Grandma's Boy. Okay, so let's, uh, Adam. Okay, Steve Buscemi. So, let's move on. Steve Buscemi as the balls. <laughs> <laughs> Rob Schneider as Steve the balls. Yeah, left one Buscemi, right one Schneider. <laughs> oh, With yeah. With banter back and forward. Really terrible screen. <laughs> Fuck that. I'm fretting. How about you? <laughs> Fuck Adam Sandler. Our heads together. <laughs> we need to make We this are loaded. <laughs> we could be a pair of testicles. <laughs> and plus he's a superhero. It's not crazy that his balls would talk to him. No, not at all. And the, like, the balls could also be like, yeah, you got to talk to that chick over there. Maybe he became a superhero after his balls got cut off and his balls become his like... His butler that tells him what to do. What, who's Batman's guy? Fucking Robin. No, the old, no, the old guy. Who's El, like, uh, Alfred. Yeah, yeah, his balls become his Alfred. He's, he's Alfred fucking Hitchcock. Why are we looking at this random dude? <laughs> this is a strange thing you've just gone through, bro. Hey, what, but what if you looked up? Ethan, what? Ethan's shaved head. Ethan yeah, I was Hall. just picturing you guys uh, with a shaved head, shaved eyebrows um, for... For playing testicles. So you just gave us both leukemia. Thanks, right? No, no. Uh, there's a guy, uh, Ethan Klein, uh, H3H3. He shaved his head and his eyebrows for playing a cosplay of... Uh, oh, yeah, he's I've obviously not very dude. famous because he's not on the internet. Yeah, anyway. I've seen and even I'm on the internet. <laughs> he, he's like one of the guys that talk about other podcasts like Joe Rogan. Who talks well, he's, about he's, other people's successes on their show? He has the number one. <laughs> a lot of podcasts. <laughs> he has one of the top. Uh, well, who talks about Adam Sandler? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, his, his podcast one of the top. Um, anyway. Tune in next week to anyway, the Sandler cast. But I think that would be a great podcast. That would be a fucking. We, we should do that in every movie he's made from start to now in chronological order. <laughs> we have to have a Sandler reference in every movie, uh, in every story that we do. Done, done. That movie, fuck it. Can we tag Sandler in this? I know he's big on his uh, Instagram, Instagram stuff and he would you be could. like... But he might, of also, course, guys. Instagram he might stories. also be like a really big Necro fan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck you, boy. <laughs> New York for life. Adam, go take him down for me, man. <laughs> <laughs> but I think uh, we've got to push Adam... Unless Adam Sandler miraculously appears in your 9-9 word <laughs> story. Uh, throw a little oh, Mr. Deeds. Now. It's now going to be 101 <laughs> words, okay? <'Cause> <laughs> throw a little Mr. Deeds in there. I'm going to slip him in there. All right. Yeah. Uh, so what time is it? It's... Uh, Butler. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, B-Dog's dad. Like, get a bit of screen time. <laughs> oh, uh, look at that. Uh, this he is getting this. Short house, house na- 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 word. Cut him. So, so yours is. is <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yours is uh, junkie on the Titanic. It is. And mine is Nazi in a police car. And since I've got mine in front of me. You I might start and, it. Just but, to, but mine's kind of it's, it's not funny or anything so it might be a letdown so so we should do that first yeah okay <laughs> talking about strong. pressure well Nazi in a police car it's, hilarity isn't gonna win shoot <laughs> <laughs> well how could it not with that topic <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, where are we? All right, so this is May Blight, 102 words with the addition of Adam Sandler. Okay. All right. Uh, Junkie on the Titanic. Yes. Nine words by Nathan Hull. Nathan Hull. They don't talk about the opium den on board the Titanic, a spot where me and a group from first to third class, including Adam Sandler, would gather for hours at a time, nodding out in pure bliss. A small life, life raft hidden at the back of the boat that obviously would never be needed had been reserved for those of my persuasion. On that fateful night, I was so far down the rabbit hole, I missed the entire sinking. I came to, floating miles out to sea in our den, took another hit and drifted back off like nothing had ever happened. It's more just a real thing of what would happen in that yeah. situation. <laughs> I'm glad we went first with that one. Yeah, me too. Even, even Adam Sandler, with he all his... He couldn't he say couldn't that. Save that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad that you agreed that it was, you know, it's like fucking whatever. I don't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's see if I can bring some humour to this yeah. with my topic, Nazi in a police car. Hitler drank in his bunker and joined his cowardly abode. Hitler, come out, we have you surrounded, the officer screamed. What? What did I do? I'm just drinking wine. Is that a crime? Hitler said, confused. You know what you did. You'll be spending the rest of your life in bummer sex of prison, the officer said. <laughs> Not a bummer sex of prison. That's where all the ass rapists go, Hitler cried. We know, the officer said, as they all laughed. Hitler grabbed the officer's gun and shot himself in the head, spreading his brains all through the police car. <laughs> uh... Hilarity did ensue, especially your German accent. <laughs> Not a bummer, Italian, Italian Hitler. Yeah, more Mussolini than Hitler. Yes. Hey, I'm a very German. Mamma <laughs> mia, I'm a so oh, German. Oh, yeah. Uh, a bummer sex in prison is very Italian. It should have been a Lutz but sexus. Yeah. Fuck, I should read the story again, but with a. Shays and jams in prison. <laughs> Uh, what? <laughs> I, know, I, know, I, know. I shouldn't Google bum no, sex prison. Should not Google bum sex prison. No. Again. Again. <laughs> I was going to say, it's the first thing that come up when you do your research, man. Come on. Uh, but let's see what uh, some of the people have sent in for these topics. Can I just say, this has been a pretty good episode so far. I think mainly filled out and saved by Adam Sandler. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Adam, it's, it's let's watch the video first, I think. And uh, Michelle sent two images. Yes, yeah, she did. Yeah. Okay. The other yeah. And this one is by Aaron again, who sent him one of these cool Photoshop uh, stop motion. Once again, showing he's far more talented than the host of this show. Oh, and producer. And producer. Look at the. Well, that goes without saying. We don't even need to say that. <laughs> It kind of looks like your opium den. <laughs> this could be the opium den on the Titanic in your story. Oh. Yeah. yeah. There's little point being stealthy on the building yard at night. The creaks and eggs of a cold ship's underbelly echoes throughout the expanse. I hope I can find something of value here on the building deck of the Titanic, said Smithers expositionally. I have a craving for that sweet opium, the drug of choice for the time. That time being April 9th, 1912, that is. Beside Smithers sits two large boxes labelled Safe Rivets and Unsafe Rivets. <laughs> Smithers bends down to pick up the valuable Safe Rivets to sell for opium, but falls through an unfastened metal sheet. <laughs> <laughs> what video is this? Is this yours? <clears throat> no? Yeah, it's from my pitch. Okay. Yeah, that was that was, was pretty good. much your story, except for the rivets. Yeah, and lack of Adam Sandler. <laughs> Other than that, it was spot on. Why? Why? Are you why? Why? Are you got, oh, okay. All right, stick to continuity. Let's see. Uh, uh, this is Mich Oh, this is cool. Her junkie on the Titanic. But she's gone with the alien again. Yeah, she's got like a little. Uh, but this is her Banksy rat. Yeah, just yeah. appears up in all all her so, works. You know what? It's I, the junkie alien. I've spent a lot of time as a well, not a lot of time, a few years as a teenager in the nineties, and I was led to believe that aliens love smoking bongs as well. Everyone had like some alien bong poster in their room and shit. And like, yeah, when I saw this, I was quite confused. I've never seen one 
so much green <coughs> liquid inside of a bong before. That must be an alien. Yeah, well, it's alien. It might be. Yeah, he's smoking a bong bacon. Is man. that money as well? Uh, yeah. Why not? Yeah. <laughs> Those look like dollar bills. Dollar dollar bill, yo. I love it. Yeah. And she signed it. Yeah. Nice. Down with it. It's making me feel like I'm 14 again. And I want to go smoke real dirty bushweed buckets. Or tin cans. Oh, can bongs. With a dirty forex can found in the bush. Flick the snails <laughs> out. <laughs> wow, what a dream that uh, was, eh? Hey? Harsh as fuck. <laughs> is, is the alien... Uh, is that a crack in the Titanic or is the alien holding a feather duster? It's a crack uh, in the Titanic. I hold <laughs> that's <laughs> actually considered a tickler. <laughs> <laughs> Sing Titanic. <laughs> <laughs> That's a huge mm. alien too then, right? Well, it's big enough to sink the Titanic. Yeah. No, he's not sinking it. He's just riding it down. Yeah, I think he's fat ass. If you sinking. were that big, that would actually be a really fun ride. That'd be huge. No. Also, you know, Michelle's not always the most modest artist when it comes to genitalia, but I like how she's put like a nice cloud of smoke around his <laughs> groin. So there's no mistaking there's no dicks in you this know, one. Yeah. You know, because if there's... Although that strange chimney is quite phallic. <laughs> and it's also kind of the Titanic's penis if you look at the angle. <laughs> Who's going down? <laughs> if you look oh, at it shit. like the Titanic's a person, it kind of looks like the Titanic's eating the alien's ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's why the alien has money throwing around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. The, the Titanic is throwing money, money at the alien's And, the and this is STDs or and something. And the Titanic is really into it. Uh, <laughs> it made it pretty wet, I guess. <laughs> well. Sorry, Michelle. Well, we just absolutely we obliterated well, here. We can also creep at every one of Michelle's images. Yeah. Uh, out, where's her other job. image? I don't know. That's your job to know. What do you mean you don't know? Oh, uh, this is... Ah. Uh, this is kind of my story uh, before he shoots himself in the head. Yeah, I mean... I love this. <coughs> so you could have gone full John yeah. Candy and, and mix your story with it. I do love... Because uh, that kind of does look like Hitler's car almost. Remember Hitler had his own custom car and it had like that weird little... Bird's nest in the back. Yeah, but she just made this into a total rat rod as well. American yeah, yeah. rat rod style. I Hell love yeah. that. And what is it? That's a Model T or something, right? Yeah, I know cars. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it's like a little. Uh, who could even fit into the front seat? Definitely not the alien. Well, yeah, yeah. It's kind of like, remember the kids at like fairs, the old man would sit at the. F- the back of the train and all the kids. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Creepy old train drivers. Looks yeah. like a Shriners car, even. I imagine like an old man with little Fez Wait, cap. Is his mouth <laughs> open or is that his mustache? He's his mustache, man. Can you zoom right into that? I always thought it was just his mouth. Nah, like he was just like, oh. <gasps> nah, it's his but mustache. It's like, he's got a little like, side face. I did like, think Ugh. his mouth was open as well, but yeah, he's got a really long mouth. He's made him look kind of like a bagel. Look how giant his ears are, too, then. It's almost uh, Beagle Hitler. It makes him sound like you talk like this. If anything, <laughs> it's almost uh, if Joseph Goebbels was going to do propaganda on Hitler. <laughs> it's ve- it's very uncomplimentary to Hitler. And bushy I'll ass be surprised eyebrows. surprised Michelle Drew is a superhero. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Hey Hitler! Really well you done, Michelle. Man. And the, another penis nose. I mean, you are oh, an yeah. absolute creep, Michelle. <laughs> <laughs> Just squeezing in penises wherever you can. That's that's the definition of a dickhead. <clears throat> yeah. Alrighty. I do like the car because it's kind of the car looks like it's all done with like texture, you know, like it's all. Here, this is quickly sketched. This out. is a multimedia performance right here. This yeah, nice. but it's not because she's she hasn't. Connected that line. So it's all... No, behind his head. No, I really like this. 
And I, I love the old rat fink images. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like the, the, uh, yeah, it's rat fink. Yeah. Yeah. It's very old school. It's very cool. Yeah. No, you know, I love that sort she, of images. She did this with a calligraphy calligraphy pen or something too, because yeah, they those, find points. Yeah. Differing line te- densities. Really? It was really love it. Love and it, the, Michelle. The and then you got the the, the uh, Christine sort of grill face with the eyes. Oh no! You know what the uh, the front of the car looks like? The car from Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Yeah, I was about to say that. Yeah. But last time we're on a podcast, we gotta get out of here. Rabbit hole, so to speak. Uh, <laughs> maybe pretty- maybe we can get Michelle and Andrew to do a podcast together no, to, do, to work together to do an animation she she Aaron. makes a- yeah Aaron yeah <laughs> listen once again Aaron uh, if you uh, are free to produce this <laughs> the simple task of remembering people's names yeah uh, Andy Kenny Was Wisconsin <laughs> All right, let's move on to the next one. Shut you kind up. of just stare at artwork and don't say a lot. Uh, it's riveting for us, but no one else. Yeah, because we're looking for the penis that Michelle is. <laughs> it's Where's Willie, really? <laughs> <laughs> and we got the last story of this episode. <coughs> just a quick oh, one. Yep. I know we've been pretty sporadic with our releasing of episodes the last few weeks. Yeah, because we've got some Months. big projects in the, in we the got, works. We've got some stuff going on. You guys don't have anything going on. And none of you. If you have time to watch this, fuck all. Write some stories. Send some stuff in. We only got a couple this week. Yeah, I also haven't been great on the Instagram. That's not our fault. That's their fault. Yeah, but they kind of... <laughs> the TikTok, though, is killing it. Yeah. Yeah. But... And the website. Oof. I haven't yeah, even viewed that. You mean uh, <laughs> www.goatkingwc.com? Yeah. I'll Check take your word for it. Yeah. <laughs> I know it because I brought the handle. It's, Am I uh, on it? What? Am I on it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you, you even have a little section that links to your Instagrams yeah. and everything. Do I really? Fuck. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's. Uh, yeah. This guy's on it as well. He's. Uh, Cook dog. He's dressed down for us today, though. Normally he's on he's, holiday. Normally he's looking nice and spiffy. This is yeah. holiday cookie. This is relaxed cookie. This is cookie's yeah. comfortable. Still with finds time to shave his head though. What do you? Re- which one do you reckon he's done? I reckon he's done Nazi. I reckon he's picked my one. I reckon he would have gone a Nazi too. All right. Not suggesting anything about his shaved head. <laughs> Short story: Nazi in a police car. Oh. The policeman oh. turned and looked at the suspect in the back seat. He'd been arrested at a rally chanting Nazi slogans. He reckoned he was the great grandson of Hitler and gave his name as Steve. (laughs) He claimed Hitler had a fling with an Aussie backpacker in the spring of 38, and the resultant birth was Steve's grandma, Norell. So, Steve, the policeman said, you don't really think you're descended from Hitler, do you? Yeah, I do, Steve said, and it's uber Gruppenfuhrer, Steve, to you. The policeman sighed and thought, only an hour until I go home. (laughs) <laughs> oh cookie <coughs> cookie always delivers everything. i like how much evidence he puts into the names like narelle thought went into that it wasn't just like narelle oh thank you <laughs> all right let's keep it moving keep it moving cookie knows we love him but i also want to thank see you what cookie for your submission when we week. um say your homework when we finish a few fucking more episodes we run out of these can we just fill one with Adam Sandler? Yeah. Good. <laughs> do you guys, guys want to do a cookie shirt? So anyone who buys that shirt can get a little money towards cookie for doing such a great job. Can we make a shirt and just Maybe. have a cookie monster on it? Have cookie just like murdering a bunch of college students? We can have our cookie murdering the cookie yeah. monster yeah, and saying it's my one. name now. <laughs> uh, what have we got? Red pill, blue pill. I don't know which one I've got. Oh, well, this is mine. So I've got... Uh, characters. I know. <laughs> Tom, I've done you well. It's the first time in a while. Yeah. yeah. Strong drinks and another shake. Okay. <laughs> Got a very similar vibe to next week. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, what, what have you got? I've got a prince. Yeah. A prince at a clan rally. Oh, <laughs> that's good. I've got a comedian on a space station. You really uh, get into the sci-fi, and I'm getting into like the real racist. 
We need a swap cocktail Canadian shaker. Canadian and a well, Adam Sandler on a space station. Yeah. Fucking swap. And of. Adam Sandler at a clan. <laughs> <laughs> the Prince Brit, of Comedy. Prince Sandler. <laughs> I don't uh, think, uh, well, I think Sandler wouldn't be really welcomed at a clan rally. They love Jews. Nah. <laughs> Haven't we had That's a space they station one? They're like oversized yummikers. Like, well, look how much we love you. <laughs> well, I don't think it's ever been described as a, a, a <laughs> oversized, oversized yummica. Uh, but uh, how are we getting out of here today? Clam uh, rally? <laughs> just to go with the vibe? Are we going to... Can we drive out in um, JFK's car in the back? Just chilling when he got shot? How about, how about a junkie on a space station? <laughs> can you do that can we be in the car with jfk when he got shot or is that really hard to do <laughs> oh, can we just uh, okay, can we yeah. just float through space yeah and then crash into the sun like third rock from the sun <laughs> you want to float through space on the couch yeah because if not you, you can kind of like put your feet up in the air mm, and just stay still no nah, i'm not doing that we'll just float through space <laughs> <laughs> i did not come here for cardio brian <laughs> Uh, All right, let's uh, let's let us degravitate. Oh, catch a lighter. I don't know why they fuck you, Earth. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Burn in hell, suckers. Ooh, space <laughs> gravity. Not Look here. Look out for space mobsters. <laughs> Ooh, I don't know how to do space. I don't even know why I'm talking in slow motion, space. Careful, you idiot! I said across her nose, not up it! Sorry, sir. Doing my best. Who made that man a gunner? I did, sir. He's my cousin. Who is he? He's an asshole, sir. I know that. What's his name? That is his name, sir. Asshole. Major asshole. And his cousin? He's an asshole, too, sir. Gunner's mate, first class, Philip Asshole. How many assholes we got on this ship, anyhow? Yo! I knew it, I'm surrounded by assholes. Keep firing, assholes!